Okay guys, here is my off the water walkthrough of my new canoe pursuit with the bow mounted XI3 spot lock trolling motor. First of all, I absolutely love this setup. I love the motor guide. That spot lock is sweet. Um, this kayak is, I want to say 13 and a half foot long and 35 inches wide and comes in right at 82 pounds but my fishing setup is very similar to what i run on my big fish um, i've got my 13 by 16 black pack my battery box and one thing that i really like is i've still got plenty of behind the seat storage even with the big black pack and battery box but then i've got the same hummingbird um, Helix 5 that I was running on the Yak Attack switchblade transducer mount. I wasn't entirely sure how I was going to feel about the completely open deck, but I absolutely love it. Just having all that extra room to do whatever you want and it keeps it super simple. I really like the C deck because whenever I'm standing up, it's a whole lot easier on the feet. Um, this front hatch right here just has a little box in it or a little tray that I keep my battery box in and just run my wire into my fish finder right here um, I have a yak attack double header to hold my paddle right here which that thing's absolutely awesome keeps the paddle out of the way and if I needed it's right there easy access um, I really, really like the horizontal rod storage. Um, you can only fit one rod per, per tube, but that's super nice, super neat. Stays out of the way. Um, then it's nice. It works pretty well just right here beside the seat. I've got board storage and I've just got a rogue tether. And after coming from that big fish, this is one of my favorite things about this kayak. That board just lays completely flat in the deck of it. But I really, really like this kayak. I'm going to ultimately keep it and upgrade to a new canoe unlimited just because it's a little bit wider. But. I've got my wire and I drilled a hole for my plug in this um, hole access plate and the wires just run through the hole. Up to the front where I have a hole drilled for the plug on that hatch right there and the only reason I decided to do it that way was I wasn't sure how I was going to like the motor set up, so I wanted to drill holes and parts that I could replace if I needed to. But I have a switch right here that turns on blue lights for my cockpit lights. And then I knew I was going to ultimately want to get another kayak with a motor. And instead of having to wire two different sets of lights, it's wired straight into this plug. And my navigation lights are on the trolling motor itself. So all it'll be is just plug and play if I put a, this motor on the unlimited like I'm planning on doing. But the stability of this thing, it's not as good as my big fish was, which it's three inches narrower. and doesn't have that true trial hole. But... I have no issues standing and fishing out of it whatsoever. My battery back here is an Amped Outdoors 100 amp hour battery. And that thing's absolutely awesome. You can go all day, two days in a row and not completely drain it. Um, but I really, really like the setup of this kayak. And I think once I get mine limited, I'm going to set it up about the same way and keep this for like a river boat but 
I didn't do anything fancy. I didn't want to have to drill holes and run a pulley or anything up through the nose of the kayak. So I just run a piece of paracord through that little piece right there with a little carabiner on my pedal. So all I have to do is just pull that, use my paddle, and my trailing motor's deployed. Which it's super easy, no issues out on the water whatsoever. This is the actual kayak version of the XI3. It's the 36 inch shaft, 55 pound thrust. And on average, I run about four and a half miles an hour completely loaded, but I've had it up to six with a good tailwind. Um, and another thing that's new is I broke down and decided to get a kayak cushion because this is an older model new canoe and the seat's a little wore out and it's just not super comfortable. Well, after getting this, I see what all the hype is about. It's well worth the money. It's an absolute lifesaver when you're spending, you know, 10, 12 hours daylight to dark out there. But I hated to see my pedal drive go. I love that big fish, but I'm excited to have this thing completely rigged out and I fished a few tournaments out of it already and I'm really excited to be able to hopefully get the unlimited and that way I can use this as a backup or a river boat that I don't care to beat up a little more. What's up guys? Um, today I decided to do a little fishing but while I'm doing so I thought I'd give y'all a walkthrough of my new tournament kayak rig. So I actually just sold my pedal drive, my Big Fish 108. I sold it today, but I've had this kayak built for probably a month or so now, and I've been fishing out of it, and I absolutely love it. And I've got a bow-mounted XI3 trolling motor on it. Um, I've got that run to a Amped Outdoors 100 amp hour lithium battery. Um, pretty much everything's the same as I had it set up on my big fish. But I'm still running the same Helix 5 that I've been running on the Yak Attack Switchblade there. I've got my paddle on a double header, which that thing's great, keeps that paddle out of my way. Um, I've got my net set up on just a little roto grip right there to keep it steady. Um, my front GoPro mounts right there, just a little ram mount. And then behind me, I've obviously got my black pack with all my rods, and I've got my homemade back camera mount. I just built it out of PVC, because it's a lot cheaper than buying a manufactured one. But I've got my front plug up there, and I've got wiring run to the back. That, there's a back dry hatch back there behind my battery box and it's just run through the hole. I've got blue cockpit lights in here, um, and I've got my nav lights. They're actually up on the trolling motor. But I'm a pretty big guy. I've actually got a spot locking right now, but I'm a pretty big guy. I'm about 6'2 and 220, and it's plenty of stable enough for me to stand up and fish. I was frog fishing gunners for last week, setting the hook on a frog with no issues. I just want a little bit more room um, cockpit wise. That's why I'm looking at getting the unlimited. But it's an awesome setup, that XI3 with the GPS is pretty awesome. Let's see what we can make happen, guys. Um, I'm gonna start out with Southeast Tackle's drop shot worm. This is his new, I think he calls it nuclear chartreuse color. I've been wearing the fish out on this and his laminate pearl color. Um, but there's also gonna be something I'm super excited about. I've been starting to work with Brian from Southeast and 
you guys need to stay tuned. There's going to be a pretty awesome giveaway coming up whenever I hit 200 subscribers. So stay tuned in the, for the next couple videos, and I'll give you some more information about that. But I'm super excited to get to start working with Brian a little bit. He makes awesome baits, and he's a really good guy. So. But Brian has everything from hard top water baits to terminal tackle to jigs. I've got one of his jigs tied on that I'll show you all in just a second that I'm going to try to work some deeper bluff lines with this evening. Um, his drop shot weights are probably the, my favorite that I've found. And I absolutely love his drop shot worms. So be sure to check him out. Um, you can use my discount code Kenny5 to get 5% off your order through him and I'll have the link to his website in the description. Thanks for watching this video guys. Hopefully if you're leaning toward a pursuit it'll help you make your decision one way or another. I really enjoy fishing out of that kayak but like I said be sure to like and subscribe and follow along because as soon as my giveaway pack comes in i'm going to do a little video explaining what it is and what you need to do to enter a chance to win it and hopefully we can get 200 subscribers pretty soon so one of y'all can get this awesome bait pack that i'm going to send out